सो है गाइस वेलकम बैक सो आई हैव बीन कंटिन्यूइंग डूइंग मेडिसिन बिकॉज देर अबाउट टू हंड्रेड टू वीडियोज इन मेडिसिन एंड इट्स ऑलवेज गुड इफ यू कम्प्लीट दम राइट अवे एंड सिंस वी आर गोइंग टू हैव आवर एग्जाम्स इन मे बी एन मंथ आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू मेडिसिन एज फास्ट एज आई कैन अलॉन्ग विद अदर सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक द पी एस एम एंड द एफ एम टी पार्ट बिकॉज आई नीड टू डू दोज two subjects for this year so it's important that i manage them along with these subjects and in addition to that i will be trying doing physiology and biochem a bit i am leaving anatomy for now and i will continue it after my semester exams are gone because there are certain new regulations that have been put into place in this time and i will talk about my second prof exam results in the next video but uh what i should tell you that uh, this time the checking was a bit on the tougher side and this is not particularly for me for everyone so the marks that have been allotted to each and every one might not be uh, usual might not be equal to the usual marks we get uh, during the prof exams or, or whatever seniors used to get but a uh, slightly different from that but uh, in this case whatever marks each one of us have been allotted i think that is the appropriate marks which one should actually get based on their individual preparation and then rather sticking on to someone else's and the very sudden means you know if your paper are checked in the college itself so you definitely get more marks but this time around this was not the case because all the papers were sent to the universities and the answers were checked all there so that all sums up the case this time so uh, coming to topic i have been doing mitral stenosis today and i have done mitral regurgitation the aortic part have been done yesterday only and in psm what i have been doing is the biostat parts and i tried to complete the biostat parts in the college itself because those are mostly the understanding parts and you don't need to memorize a lot for the biostatistics and once i get to the marrow notes of biostats i will focus on park and this time around we are going to have a huge syllabus especially for ppsm because you know the content in park is just beyond any other book there is only one book for psm that you should read and that's park no matter you read your notes to add on the additional points or your notes for the neat pg exams or the values which we are going to write in our exam should be from park and that's the only valid thing so this is how i actually write down the pathology of any event like i'm telling you that i was doing the mitral stenosis part so for the pathology of mitral stenosis this is a one line pathology for the entire paragraph like here the mitral valve cannot open completely and this is the entire explanation for the mitral valve uh, non competence so that's how it is and these are the various explanations for the various different points that are written on the various characteristics of mitral valve stenosis and it's quite interesting studying medicine from rakesh sir as i've already said in the previous video but the actual test is going to start when we are attempting the mcqs because just studying will not solve the mcqs and i believe that i <laughs> this has happened to me during the neat uj exams as well no matter how much you prepare and how much you study in the end when you are giving an entrance exam all it comes down to is to eliminate the if three mcqs and come to the one correct point so that's all it is and that's all for today